true confession. It'd be hypocritical of me to bash all the people who are still antsy about same-sex marriage. Because honestly, I was late to that party myself. I had a writer's objection. Words have very precise meanings to me. And the word marriage had always meant a particular thing. People of the same sex exchanging rings wasn't part of that definition. The word was my stumbling block. Civil unions, fine. Hell, they could have called it carriage and I probably would have been okay with it, as long as it wasn't marriage. And then, gradually, it occurred to me that preserving the sanctity of my dictionary wasn't really the point. That the sanctity of my dictionary didn't hold a candle to the sanctity, the reality, of two people in love with one another and wanting to commit to one another. So I came around later than some people, sooner than others, same as the president did. Which is why bashing all the opponents would be hypocritical of me. But some of them, the professional objectors, <laughs> <laughs> the ones who are screaming about how the president has declared war on marriage? That's something else again. They're making so much noise you can barely hear yourself think. So I've got an idea. Let's turn down the volume just a bit. We can start by asking all those folks who've ever gotten divorced to put a cork in it. You're not exactly the best people to be defending the institution of marriage. You know what I'm saying? And that goes double if you've been divorced twice, and if you've been divorced three times, well, maybe you get your own radio show, but you don't get to be taken seriously, not on this subject. But that also goes for the ones who never got divorced, but who cheated on their spouses. You can put a cork in it too. No ginned up outrage about those sacred vows, okay? Uh, unless, unless same-sex marriage made you cheat. That's right, if what made you cheat on your spouse was finding out there was a happily married gay couple down the block, let's hear it. Otherwise, keep it zipped. Your mouth, I mean. What did you think I meant? It's a lot quieter all of a sudden, don't you think?